Hello, my sweet friend. My name is Jorge Finu. Today I have some really fun Dollar Tree DIY projects for your home. I love Dollar Tree DIYs. There's something fun about creating something for a couple of bucks. You don't need a lot of money to make something beautiful. So today's pieces are actually going to be all used with some cement. So I went to the hardware store, got some cement all. doesn't really matter the brand, just making sure that it's cement, not the concrete that has the aggregate. So I'm gonna create some pieces that are a little bit modern, that stand out and potentially high-end feeling, but don't look like Dollar Tree DIYs. <laughs> Let's get started. All right, so for this project, we're gonna be using dog bowls. Yes, dog bowls. Don't click out just yet because if the process goes as planned, we're gonna make some really chic, cool, modern bowls, not for pets, just decorative bowls um, that might potentially look like they're made out of stone. These are the bowls I picked up from Dollar Tree and they will serve as the molds for pouring our cement into. But notice that the base of them, they're a little bit thin so that the cement might actually break. So I'm going to reinforce the base with some of these. So these are from the craft section. They're like metal, I guess, signs. I don't know exactly what you would do with them, but I'm going to use them here for the base. I'm just screwing that off. Now these are shaped like flowers, which I love because I can fold the petals quite easily with my hands as such. Now that we have that taken care of, it's time to move on to our cement. Here I'm using Cement All by Rapid Set, not sponsored. We'll be adding some water per instructions. Here I'm going for like a thick batter consistency. And this stuff is quite rapid to set, so I'm working as fast as I can. And then filling it up with cement up to the rim of the bowl. Next, I'm gonna take my metal reinforcement piece and just put it right into the center. Notice it's not really gonna cover the metal part just because the mold is so thin. That's okay, this is gonna be the bottom side anyways. Same applies to the smaller bowl, which I feel like it's a cat bowl, which fun fact, I can make great cat noises. Listen, <laughs> what is wrong with me? For the larger bowl, I'm going to do something quite interesting with it. Just make it more fun. So I'm making another batch of cement here and I'm going to be using this egg container tray also from Dollar Tree and I'm going to be using it to sort of create little half spheres. So I'm just pouring them up, trying to get them evenly or even thickness, I should say. Key. I was a little surprised that they came out without breaking, but they did. Now I'm going to do some wet sanding just to not make a big dust mess. Here I'm using 80 grit sandpaper and kind of just lightly sanding the bottom edge, which is a little sharp. Also taking the time to sand the whole surface area of the bowl in preparation for the next layer of cement. And the same applies to the little egg spheres. I will be adhering the small spheres to the sides of the larger bowl using some super gel also from Dollar Tree. This stuff has been working pretty great for me, honestly. These clamps are actually clothespins that I picked up from Dollar Tree in the laundry section.
Next, I set that aside for an hour or two before moving on to the next step, which is more cement. For this batch of cement, I added some more water to give it sort of like a thin batter consistency or like paint almost because we're going to brush it onto the entire surface of the bowl. I only decided to do this to the larger bowl, so we're just going to set that aside before moving on to paint. So it's the next day, the cement has dried. It's looking really good. Now with the cement mix, it does have some sand in it, so um, the texture is a little bit rough. So I'm going to be just doing some light sanding and then I'll go ahead and do a color treatment. But it's looking pretty good. Happy with it. The natural cement looks quite wonderful, however, I'm just gonna take this up a notch, add some charm, add some character with some paint. So I'm just taking some acrylic paint. The color here is khaki, and then I just water that down, kind of really embracing imperfection here and creating an age distressed look. I followed up with some white paint. Then things started going a little bit downhill when I added this like dark brown. I don't know, I just was not vibing with the color tone here. So I started to add some white and then I was like, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. This looks awful in my head. So I painted it black. Ooh, perhaps I'm onto something. This black color was really moody. So I just kept going with it. Added a little bit of lighter colors to create some depth and kind of just thinking of this as a piece of art now and really doing the same thing for the smaller bowl, which I did not add texture, but it still looks good. Once that acrylic paint dried, I give it a clear coat with this Rust-Oleum. This is in the matte sheen just because I want them to be more of a matte sheen, I guess. Um, but let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. Also, what color you would paint these bowls. You know, I love creating some wall art. So I picked up some of these uh, photo frames from, hope I break that. All right, we're good. So I picked up these art frames from Dollar Tree and I also got this eight by 10 inch canvas panel from Dollar Tree and an ice cube tray. Yes, we're gonna do this and some cement to create some beautiful textured art. Let me start with the artwork first. So we'll set the frames aside for now. I'm going to make a quick batch of cement, of course, using cement all and some water going for a batter consistency. Now this artwork is going to be inspired by sort of like small pebbles. So I'm using these ice trays and filling them up with the cement. And then I'm lightly tamping them just to get some of those air bubbles out. And then we'll set aside to cure. Now that the cement has hardened, it's time to release from the mold using some tough love to get them out. This is where creativity comes into play and these could be laid out in so many different patterns in different ways, but I'm going to lay them out in a grid pattern. One thing I did notice though is that the rectangles are actually different sizes. I thought they were all the same. I will adhere them onto the canvas panel from Dollar Tree using this super gel also from Dollar Tree. Mm -hmm. 
per glue instructions, I allowed it to set for a few hours before moving on to the next step, which is adding more cement. Here I added some more water to the mixture to create a paint consistency, and I'm just brushing it on with this Dollar Tree chip brush onto the entire surface of the panel. I'll just set that aside for a few hours. In the meantime, I think you're gonna like this. As you can probably tell, I love working with cement. Seriously, I do. And check out this beautiful cement trinket dish that I made. Isn't that beautiful? It's like the sandstone color, beautiful color treatment. It has sort of this aged look. And I actually have a few available on my shop. No, this video is technically not sponsored, but I'm gonna do a quick shameless plug on my store, gossariefineshop.com. There you will find some vintage items, some pre-loved items, and some items created by yours truly. I love creating things and cement is one of them. The Cemento collection is part of the things I'm offering there as well. You'll find things like this, you got this uh, candle holder, and there's also the medium dish, and a, a whole bunch of other things. But if you're looking for unique home decor, be sure to check it out. I will put a discount code down in the description box for you. But people have been loving the items they ordered. I'm also working a lot of wall art coming soon. Um, but again, discount code down in the description box. Thanks. All right, let's carry on. Let's bring this artwork to life with some paint. We'll begin with some white acrylic paint and some water and actually splatter it throughout the entire piece. And we'll repeat with some black paint to add contrast. The cement rectangles are slowly disappearing so I'm dabbing them with some gray so that they don't get lost. To keep this budget friendly I'll be using these frames from Dollar Tree. The thing about Dollar Tree frames is that they're on the thinner side, they look cheap so if we stack them up we can make them look a little bit more expensive so I'm going to take these two that I'll stack as such. Now for the front piece, the smaller one, actually both of them, I will be adding a little bit of rub and buff in gold leaf, adding some brown acrylic paint. When I mix that together, that creates sort of an aged bronze effect almost. I've done this before. I love this. I swear by this. I will add this to anything. So we're doing it to both of the frames. Almost done. Now that the paint has dried, it's time to glue these together. But before we do, let's insert the finished artwork and then glue it onto the bottom frame using any glue here. I'm just using hot glue. By the way, I was very surprised when I came across this at Dollar Tree. So this is a little wooden, I think it's real wood, um, little easel or like picture frame holder, which is great. I think this is just great as is, honestly, to display some artwork, but I could potentially stain it or paint it if I want to go with something else. But I think in this case, I might leave it as is natural. And with that on hand, let's take a look at the final result. All right, so I also picked up a whole bunch of these balls from Dollar Tree. You've got some foam balls, um, a little soccer ball here, got some bouncy balls, just a whole bunch of different size balls. And we're gonna do something fun with cement and these balls. First, we'll lay the assortment of balls on the table to see what we're working with. We have different sizes here. Now, we're gonna cover them with some fabric. Any old fabric will work, maybe an old t-shirt or an old pillowcase as I'm doing here. These cups from Dollar Tree will hold the balls while we cover them. Now, how does the cement come into play? Well, here making up a quick batch of cement, a little bit on the lighter side, like paint consistency, but we're gonna dip our fabric right into that. Once 
one thing I quickly learned was the smaller the fabric strip, the better it laid onto the ball. I found the larger strips to fold more, but here we go. I must confess, this ends up taking a little bit longer than expected. It's kind of time consuming, but sometimes it's nice to just slow down, kind of get your mind off of things and focus on the task at hand. Now the night before, I was only able to do one side because the fabric will fall off. So now I'm gonna do the bottom side. This is what they look like once they are dried. So I'm just taking them, flipping them right over and repeating the same steps because uh, we wanna make sure that this whole ball is covered. I'm going to do some light sanding to get them nice and smooth before doing our color treatment. My goal for these cement orbs is for them to look rustic age distress from the erosion of the ground or something of that nature so i'm gonna do that with some paint i got this paint from dollar tree this one is like a rusty color i'm not sure just splattering them on a few of them just to add again that aged look honestly it's kind of looking like a murder scene but now i'm adding some brown paint to further enhance the age effect and one thing that's great about DIYing is that you can really customize things to the style of your home maybe incorporate the color scheme that you have so the possibilities are endless next for the next few balls I'm doing some khaki color and kind of playing off of the red a little bit rubbing it with my hands to ensure I have sort of a consistent color palette theme here for one of them I even did some brown or actually black paint also note since this is painted on cement the color will dry a little bit lighter once dry but here's the final result I put them in this cute little bowl I had I love them On that note, that wraps up today's Dollar Tree DIY video. It's amazing what one can do with a little bit of cement. Comment down below, let me know which project was your favorite. And if you like these projects but are not a fan of DIYing yourself, check out my store for my cemento collection. I have lots of beautiful pieces I've created, also some vintage pre-loved items and more items coming soon. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.